you know, the dual threat of, of their quarterback, Bailey. Um, I mean, he's kind of a key offensive point for, for their offense, I guess. Oh, yeah, he's dangerous. We were playing against him last year, and we had uh, some trouble with him as well. But uh, I think we've got a great, great game plan against him, against his team. Great offense, great player, he's real dangerous. So that's what we name him as dangerous. Is it good to play somebody like that right out of the shoot, knowing that you're going to play whatever, 10 more quarterbacks are pretty darn good? Oh, yeah, the Big 12 is about quarterbacks, but um, even playing this at CS school, like they're ranked number three or five yeah. in the nation. So, you know, we got uh, so much respect for him and so much respect for him. He's an uh, NFL prospect, so, you know, we're. We're gonna try to bottle him up as we. Then you go right to Bethard after that. So. Yeah, so we got, we're, you know, he's decided to play, play against some great, great talented quarterbacks. What has the countdown to this new return to the field been like for you, particularly the last few days, maybe? Oh yeah, it's been it's been crazy. I haven't played, I haven't played football since TCU game last year, so I had an actual game at least. Um, it, it's been bittersweet. You know, I'm, 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 I'm thankful I get to play this game. Um, Happy. What are you more? What are you more concerned about with with Bailey? Is, is running or passing? Oh, you know he's done. He's done a little bit of both. When we've seen him done great at both things, and, and I'm pretty sure he got way better in the off season on, on his throwing and his running. So you know um, he's an exciting player to play, watch, and um, he's more exciting player to play. And he's a great time, great competition. So I can't wait to play. He kind of rather run, wouldn't he? Um, so far, what we've seen, you know, we've seen from film, he'd rather run it, but, you know, yeah. um, new office coordinator out here that they have over there, so, you know, um, we're, we're just going to play the game, and we have a great game plan, and we, we respect them to the fullest. So. You've got a lot of def new defensive backs next to you. Um, how have you kind of managed that as maybe the QB back there of that group, but also what have you seen out of them? Oh, the sky's the limit for us, you know. Um, uh, we, we play fast. We play really great together. We're, we're still taking coaching. You know, we had a great camp, uh, a great couple weeks after camp. We get prepared for Northern Iowa. And, you know, the sky's the for the season. You know, we're just taking it day by day. How's the switch back to the four-man front impacted you the most in the back end? And what kinds of things have you noticed that maybe have changed more so than what you did last year in that defense? Um, you know, three-man rush is obviously a little bit tougher to play, especially in Big 12 when it's a passing league when you really need professional the quarterback. But you know, four man, four man front is, is much, much better. And it's um, when you go, <clears> it's when much you, faster. I'm so. sorry. Go ahead. It's, you know, the hero, 